Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So this is quite different this book and when I saw it at the thrift it just um, captured my imagination and it's quite unique. I haven't really seen any books like this before. But I'm glad to add it to the collection and to be honest with you I haven't tried any of these um, paper dinosaurs because it looks really complicated but definitely a lot of cool designs in here and we've got 20 model monsters to cut and fold paper dinosaurs David Hawcock and as you can see some nice photography taken with these paper dinosaurs and look I've never tried but if you are creative this might be something fun to do as a little project could be good for schools or people who are quite artistic so it's a really interesting book we'll have we'll just go through the main pages so i'm gonna flick through fast and this is from 1988 this book and we get a lot of species So, so as you can see that's a T-Rex so pretty cool really nice photography and as you can see I'll just show the T-Rex how it's kind of like done so you know you can kind of I would you can get this like photocopied for example and explains everything how to fold it and all that and how to put it together so yeah so not easy i don't think it looks pretty complicated but i, I guess if you follow the steps and use good quality paper it's possible yep. parasaurolophus para, para oh, i struggle to say its name I just really like the photography. Alright, so we'll skip through. Pterodactyl. Uh, the page will come. And Bancreosis. And Triceratops. Everyone's favourite fish from the... Devonian period and that triceratops looks pretty cool too. Like whoever created this with paper is quite um really talented and look at the effects like with little fuzz and you know but uh, the reflection like scales. We've got a place here saw here. That's pretty cool. Given the effects that it's like underwater. Ichthyosaurus. And they even captured the eye as well, the large eye. So that's pretty awesome, I reckon. And it looks like a tropical island. And we got okay, Patrix here. Pranodon I'm not going to pronounce the top one but it's another um, flying reptile Oregonosaurus Let's see a bit of Oregonosaurus, get a bit of love. That's awesome. And I can never pronounce that Ankylosaurus name, so I'm not even going to bother trying. Because I always butcher it. So 
Oh, this is a this is a pretty cool one too. There we go, Prusite fish, and Stegosaurus. Kind of looks like a Trinosaur with the sharp teeth, with the mouth open. And that fish looks grouse with that gold paper. Just imagine all the, the people that have bought this book, if you're a kid and you just look at these pictures and you just want to make it. There's no way you're going to make it like this, but you could just imagine like you're just excited to to get the paper and try and fold it. That dimension though looks awesome. And imagine how many parents trying to help their kids are getting frustrated trying to put this together because it's... <laughs> Kind of complicated, but yeah, you can just imagine Bionics, pretty cool. That was like newly discovered around the 80s times as well, in the 80s. Got a nice amphibian here from the Permian, Diplo Callus. Callus. I like the diversity of the species here. I really like the diversity. Okay. I this Apatosaurus coming. And there we go. So how cool is that? You get... That's, that's a prehistoric turtle, and I can't pronounce its name, but it's like one of those primitive lizards that glided. So great diversity with the species, and I think that's, that's it. So yeah, and he's, he's the author as well, let's have a look at him. He's from England. Yeah, that's pretty big. So, yeah, quite different book. Uh, yeah, I just I, I adore it. So it's different, and I like the photography. I think that's what makes the book. So, let me know if you if you ever seen this book, and if you ever made any or attempted to make any of these. Um, paper dinosaurs. See you all next time.